There are some problems that can happen with a 500 watt geared motor that you can fix by replacing the internal motor assembly for the, uh, the motor. Uh, in that case, we'll send you out a full internal assembly here. It's all put together, held on with a couple of circlips. Uh, so we can mail this to you and you can replace all of the working parts of your motor in just a couple of minutes. Uh, when you do that, here's your old motor. Uh, tire's still on. If it's a rear, the freewheel's still on. Uh, you've just taken it out of the bike. And then all you need to do is remove the six screws that run along the outside here. Uh, those generally use a Phillips head drive, depending on when you got your motor. I think I'm using a PH2 uh, screwdriver here. You want to make sure that it's a good fit. Uh, with the head of the screw so you don't strip out the head of the screw and then so you don't strip out the threads I recommend using a torque wrench when you can about four newton meters is right for these screws I'm going to use a screwdriver because it's a little faster and uh, I'm just going to undo the four screws the six screws that is six if you heard the clicker there you'll notice I'm, I'm using the click off torque on this screwdriver if you're using a screwdriver, you need to be sure to limit the torque on it because it's really easy to strip these screws out if you go crazy. That's of course when you're putting them back in, when you're taking them out. No big deal. Once you get the screws off, you're going to want to remove any hardware, any washers, lock nuts, axle nuts, and uh, you want to be careful with the motor wire while you're doing that. So I'm using this uh, stack of duct tape rolls to uh, protect the motor wire. Uh, when you come to the lock nuts, if you have any on your motor, you're going to need a wrench to hold the axle still while you take the lock nuts off. And it can be uh, a little difficult sometimes. Especially if the motor's been in use for a while. Um, you could also use an axle vise maybe carefully. Um, but a uh, 10 millimeter wrench works really well. And then you'll see the whole thing just opens right up. Very easy to do. If you have a little trouble getting it out, um, you can carefully tap on the axle with a rubber mallet or something of that sort. Um, so I'll show you that if, um, if that helps. Basically when it's still together, you'll see the axle sticking out the side. And uh, if you can't easily pull this out, don't pull on the wire. Tap it with a rubber mallet and it should come out. Now, when you're putting the new gear assembly in, I'm just going to go over here and grab a new gear assembly. When you're putting it in, you'll again want to probably support the motor here in order to protect the axle. And you'll notice on the inside of the motor, you see the outer ring gear. Uh, which is more or less permanent, pressed into the motor. That outer ring gear is the only uh, working part that's staying in place. Um, but you'll notice that it's got to mesh with the planetary gears as you put it in. So you can't really just cram the internal assembly back in place. Uh, what you need to do is lower the internal assembly by holding the axle. And then you might need to turn the axle some in order to spin the gears, or turn the whole assembly or the wheel in order to get the gears to line up. You'll be able to feel it. In this case, it wasn't really any big deal. It meshed right in. Um, but sometimes you have to turn stuff. You, you, you don't want to hammer on this if it's not fitting. And then you just turn the side plate until you can line it up with the holes there. And uh, then you should be all set. You take your screws. Uh, you turn your screwdriver down real low. Use your torque wrench, whatnot. And then uh, you'll notice I'm not tightening this all the way until it clicks off, even though I'm using a torque wrench. Uh, I want to tighten this in a star pattern in order to minimize the run out because your axle bearings for the hub are on this side plate. Um, so if you don't tighten this evenly, you can get a little bit of run out in the wheel. Um, so these guys, I'm not even snugging up finger tight yet. I'm going to tighten them in a star pattern. Right now I've got my torque all the way down. So now they're finger tight in a star pattern, uh, just like lug nuts on a car, if you've done that before. Uh, there you go.
And then once they're finger tight as the stars, then you can go to your final torque. Or an intermediate torque. And, uh, you know, just walk the tightness up a little bit at a time. That ensures that they get evenly tightened. And now I'm doing my final torque, my four newton meters in a star pattern. Uh, it seems a little excessive, but it helps to make sure that your wheel will still stay straight when you're all done with this. And uh, if you do it like this, there won't be any problem. And once you get it, you can put your axle hardware back on, and you've got basically a brand new motor at this point. Um, all the working parts have been replaced, and you should be all set. Thank you.